Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. So it is currently bucketing down rain outside. I've been on the phone all morning dealing with really boring things and as we all saw the other day, Joe Biden has inadvertently called for World War III. For God's sake, this man cannot remain in power. As such, I am super duper in the mood to look up some ridiculous woke TikToks and laugh at them. Now do I feel bad about making this kind of content? Yes. Why? Because it's not really in the realm of nuanced, thoroughly researched and well-sourced political analysis that tends to be the thing that I do on this channel. Is this content easier and quicker to make than my usual content? Absolutely. As such, do I feel completely lazy and like I'm letting you all down? Uh-huh. However, putting my personal feelings aside, the feedback I get for TikTok reaction videos is always really good. So as I've said before, and I'll say it again, if you guys like the content, then I will make it. So here we are. And today's offering of work TikTok cringe is of course, feminist TikTok. Now what I've noticed with various TikTok tags in the time that I have been observing them is that the best slash worst ones tend to vary with time. A little while ago the gender fluid TikToks were the most galling, then it was CRT, it's also been climate change, but currently all the best worst ones I can find happen to be on feminist TikTok. So because evidently I hate myself, I am visiting feminist TikTok. But before we go ahead with what we all know will be a painful, painful ride, a word from this video sponsor, Noble Gold. If you watch regularly, You'll know Noble Gold is one of my sponsors. They now have thousands of clients who found the secret of gold and silver for their retirement plans here. And for the month of March, with any qualified IRA above 20K, you'll get a three ounce silver American virtue coin or a five ounce America the beautiful silver coin for anything over 50K. You know what to do. Call 877-646-5347 now to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. So let's get going, shall we? What makes you qualified to have a discussion, to be a voice where men are talking about, uh, it's called man enough. Uh, the same thing that makes you the most qualified to have a conversation about whiteness that you as a That's black a man understand whiteness far more mm. than I understand it or Justin can understand it. What a great answer. But, <laughs> <That's> and it's <laughs> that not to say that it's your labor or no, your work, no, but, but you actually you. can teach us way more about it because you have had to deal with it every single minute. When you're the oppressed uh, group, you know everything about the oppressor. My God, um, I, oh. Uh... I hate that argument that is so completely rooted in intersectionality and it is simply an excuse for certain groups of activists to be jerks. Basically that, that, that whole thing, of, oh the, the oppressed knows more about the oppressor. First of all, that girl isn't depressed. Did you, did you see the jewelry she was wearing? You know, she looked pretty well scrubbed. She's obviously quite successful. She's on a podcast. She's not oppressed. That's ridiculous. I love the male feminist who gives, who goes, oh, wow, that's a good answer. I'm like, oh, he likes a girl. He, she, lovey, she's not going to sleep with you. Um, yeah, but that is that is that truly intersectional argument that really doesn't make any sense because we're all individuals. Some men are, are very oppressed by, uh, you know, various life situations. As I've always said, the great divider in society is not race, gender, sexuality, etc. It's economic class. So yeah, total cop out and uh, a justification to allow herself to be a complete jerk about men um, and get away with it. Okay, I have a question for some of the ladies who have spent a significant chunk of time intentionally single, single by choice, whatever. When you have come out of that season and like, okay, I feel ready to date, I wanna explore some things, I feel totally whole, content as myself, you know, I've spent some significant time celibate, intentionally, but I'm ready to explore male partner options. Have you experienced just the total inability to be impressed with any man? Like, I think I lost the ability to feel butterflies or giddy or super excited by a dude. It's just gone. It's like not in me anymore. I don't hate it, but it's... Is it normal? Oh... Ladies, 
This is what feminism does to you. This is what toxic self-love does to you. It makes you so completely involved with yourself and also gives you such a kind of negative stigma about the male species that as, as this young woman has found, she's lost the ability to feel all those lovely feelings like feeling giddy or, or butterflies or, or, you know, that desire for companionship. This is what modern feminist do, feminism does to young women and perhaps this is actually the goal of, of modern feminist leaders to completely turn the female species away from men, uh, not only socially, but also, also sexually. This is, this is very, very sad. Girls, please don't be a fourth wave feminist because this is what happens to you. Women post their ugly boyfriends on Instagram like, what would I do without this goof? Girl, you would thrive. That's what you would do. Full disclosure, everyone. I used to work for that woman. I used to work for that woman. She hasn't changed much. I don't eat them because they're shaped like dinosaurs. I eat them because they're f***ing chicken nuggets! But the problem is, by virtue of this woman saying that her boobs look good in tank tops, she's, in, she's made a value judgment on them and is displaying them for everyone to see. So unless she wants everyone to completely avert their gaze rather than appreciate the fact that she believes they look great in tank tops, well, I'm sorry, but that's a, a, that's a little bit of kind of, you know, square peg, uh, round hole going on. I think men are better than women. She's kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not. They provide for us and we must obey them because they are our masters. I love it. I love it. I've seen that meme actually put it popping up on TikTok a bit. It's, you know, feminists, you know, before World War Three. World War Three hits and they're like, you know, in the kitchen doing stuff. I think that's fabulous. That I think is my favorite one. I love the kind of... Um, pilgrim vibe she's got going putting on the makeup and she she really leans into it saying you know they they are our masters etc that is very very funny i love the irony love those kinds of feminist tiktoks they are amusing are you offering us 20 percent of each of your companies yes we're no, offering no, no, you 20 no, no. of both, both companies. of the companies so that's that's 20 percent split up so five percent evolve through training 15 percent evolution solutions hey how does that work <laughs> How does that work? Well, what do you mean, how does it work? 5% have evolved through You're training. actually giving me 5% of one company and 15 over the other. You're not yeah. giving me 20%, are you? Well, all right, 20% is combined over no, both it, companies. No, it doesn't work like that. One could be worth £100, right? And you give me 20% of it. That's 20 quid. Yeah? yeah. Keep it simple. And the other Thank one you. could be worth... We are women. <laughs> Um, we do, I apologise, but we face You've a got a terrible day. attitude, oh! I'll tell you. I, I, on that point, on that, on that point, I've got a serious issue with that comment. I can't well, watch. I've got, do you know how many women I work with? Yeah, I, yes. Do you want to have a guess? No, I don't know, but no, I no. can imagine. I no, can imagine. please have a guess. We've, I've no idea. I don't know, who, to be perfectly honest. You I don't. Oh, my God. That is so embarrassing. I am so embarrassed for that woman. She and her partner pitch an idea that clearly doesn't make sense. And so when she's corrected on it, she immediately drops the gender card. And not only that, indicates that she does that regularly because she said, oh, sorry about it, but we face this all the time. Like, oh my God, she's not going to get anywhere with that attitude for obvious reason because no one is going to no one is going to want to work with it like that is the classic feminist result re, um, response my idea sucks i'm criticized for it by a man therefore it's because i'm a woman not because my idea sucks like Seri seriously, and uh, you know what I love? I love the absolute death stare the woman on the Dragon's Den panels gives them. It is ju it's just fabulous. She, I guarantee you, is thinking, see, 
This is why it's been really hard for women to be taken seriously in the workplace over the years because of women like that. I've seen a black man like walking towards me and I cross the street, but I'm always in my head like, please know that this is because you're a man, not because you're black. <laughs> that is a very problematic TikTok. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. The fact that she, okay, she's like, I'm moving across the street because you're, you're a man, not because you're a black man. I'm sorry, she's noticed, you know, obviously people notice color because, you know, we, we, we see people, but she has processed the idea of race as well as processing the idea of male and she has crossed the street. I would argue that she's maybe courting a little bit of internalized racism there as, as well as the obvious externalized misandry. Just, it's an intersectionalist dream, really. Have you ever looked up the definition of a misogynist? I just did for the first time, and it's not what I thought it would be. Misogynist, a person who dislikes, despises, or is strongly prejudiced Fact, against women. that is true. It's silly for me to be shocked. That is the definition. But I just always assumed it meant something less extreme. Maybe disrespects, or is arrogant towards. Do you know what the opposite of a misogynist is? It's not a feminist, like me and my friends originally thought. It's a whole other word we didn't even know existed. Misandry is the hatred of, contempt for, or prejudice against men. And I hated that word. Because on my worst days, I'm afraid that definition fits me. And it doesn't sound heroic like feminist. It sounds villainous, evil even. The way misogynist sounds like a predatory old dragon come to devour any female to cross its path. It's embarrassing to count the amount of days I have allowed that dragon to take on its female form inside of my heart. My mouth burns with hatred as I use my words as a flamethrower. I hate men. All men suck. Even the good ones are just pretending. Men are beneath me. But the gross part is that it's considered acceptable for me to say these things out loud today. But if I ever heard those words come out of my brother's mouth, <laughs> I hate all women. Women suck. Women are beneath me. Our society would burn him at the stake, myself included. But my culture says it's okay for me to say those types of things. I'm not a villain. I'm a hero. I'm standing up for myself, for all women. So they fuel the fire and I continue to rage, letting my stored up unforgiveness and pain belittle and set the male species in flames. I hide behind the wrong word, becoming everything I once said I hated about them. Am I pro-woman or am I really just anti-men? That is a fascinating and very based little TikTok. That was not what I expected it was going to be actually um, when I when I saw it like she she brings up a point that I have actually been saying for a very long time which is that the word misogynist like the word racist or sexist or white supremacist or whatever has been thrown around or thrown around not only willy-nilly but uh, but also completely incorrectly misogyny is, a, is an extreme hatred of women so what an interesting realization she's had that in, in actual fact you know and then she got curious about it and discovered the word misandry so this is an interesting little journey that she's gone on and i really commend her for it well everyone there you go another work TikTok reaction video done um i quite enjoyed some of those like there was some little sort of surprise based ones in there that were quite fun um yes let me know what they it's, it's you know it, it's still not if it gives me hope for the younger generations of women when I when I do these kinds of videos. So let me know what you think on in the comments. Which is your favorite? Do you have any other suggestions for TikTok content I should react to? I would love to hear your thoughts. If you like that video, please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave me a comment. And if you really, really liked it, then check out the video description for my subscribe star link and other ways you can support me.